all right guys this is to answer one of your questions i keep seeing in the comment section about how i edit my intro videos in order to show you i'm going to walk you guys through one of my already edited youtube intro all right guys let's get started My first intro video was edited in Final Cut Pro, but with this, we're gonna use CapCut to edit similar video. So first of all, we're gonna set our project settings, go to modify, make sure arrange layers, we turn it on, it's gonna make our life easy. Then with aspect ratio, I'm gonna set to 16 by nine since it's YouTube format and all the rest I'm gonna leave just like that. I shot in 24 frames per second, so I'll leave it just like that go to performance make sure you turn on proxy to make it easy during your editing process now click on save so we're going to drag our intro video drag and drop in the timeline so i'm going to provide you guys with this video link will be down there below but please just use it for practice so this is already cut version of the intro let me make it big for now so when I play and show you guys. All right guys, so on my left is an Ali Abdal caption start. So we're gonna start from here. I like zooming in right from the intro or the start. So take your player to the first frame, go to the right side, drop a keyframe on transform. It's gonna drop on all the parameters under there. Then go 15 frames forward. And I just wanna zoom in into my face. So I'm gonna increase the scale a bit then i'm gonna drag so the focus will be on my face then when you play now we need to work on the curves to make it a bit smooth option k to bring the keyframe animation out we're gonna start with scale click on this very space and with this we're just gonna use a preset that comes with cup cut so with this click on the second keyframe and go to the preset on this side it's gonna bring this window out or you can just right click on this, select graphs, and then we're gonna use is in two for this. Now let's do the same thing with X as is. Right click on that, graphs, and then let's choose is in two. Let's close this, then click on Y, right click on this keyframe, select graphs, and select is in two. Also remember you can use the preset on this side to select that same animation. Now let's close that and play and see how it looks right, like. Guys, so on my left. Now option K to close that. So from here, when you look at the video, I was saying guys, so on, my left. on my left. So I just want to direct the viewers to my left side. With that, let's go to the second keyframe we have. Let's go somewhere five frames forward by pressing the arrow five times. Then let's drop a keyframe on transform. It's going to lock the keyframes on that side. And since it's gonna be the same values with this, there's not gonna be any changes with this. We just wanna lock the keyframe on that very position. So now we're gonna take it on my left. When you look at my lips, I was saying on my so left. On my so we're gonna take it, this keyframe, then go 10 frames forward. Then we're gonna drop another keyframe on transform. Then on that side, let's just drag it to this side increase it a bunch i want to disappear on the screen and also show only the dark side on my right side on my left sorry guys so i'm gonna increase it more and take it right to that side now when you look at it all right guys so on my left now we need to work on the curves to just like we did earlier on option k to bring the keyframe animation out let's start with y click on this second keyframe you can right click on that and select graphs or you can just go to the preset directly on this side and choose so is in two. So we're gonna do the same with X and scale. So click on X, right click, graphs, so is in two. Then scale, right click, graphs, is so in two. So the movement will be the same. So we don't have any weird movement to it. With this, we're gonna use one of my Instagram videos and you know how hard it is to get such videos. But in this video, I'm gonna show you guys one easy way. Go to your browser, 
open Instagram page. You can go to my Instagram page or wherever video you want to copy. So I'm going to use this very video. Just click on that. Then we can copy the web address from the top. Command C to copy. And now we're going to use one tool from Wondershare called Uniconverter, the sponsor of today's video. When you open Uniconverter homepage, click on this very side, then click on this side. Then we're going to click on this folder icon because we copy the web address it's going to start directly copying the same files on this side then when it's done you're going to have this red dot on this side just click on the finished side then you can see your video right on this side then when you click on this very envelope icon it's going to take you to where your videos you can find your videos that you got from instagram then from here go to your editing software Click on the folder where you have the video or your Instagram video or the video you just got from Uniconverter and drag and drop in the timeline. And guess what guys, that's not even the main features of Uniconverter. With Uniconverter, you can convert any video, audio and image to over a thousand formats. And also you can compress your videos and audio of larger file size into smaller file sizes. And that's a feature I've been using to save lots of space on my drive. Uniconverter also has AI features such as AI image enhancer and AI thumbnail maker this tool is a game changer for every video editor to try your hands on uniconverter you can click on the link in the description box below thanks to the guys from wondershare for sponsoring this video now we have our video in the timeline we use uniconverter to get that very fast and easy i'm gonna drag it to this side let's close this keyframe animation option k to do that and with this we don't want the volume from this very instagram video so let's just drag that down and let's reduce the size of it to somewhere 80 percent for now or we can go for 75. then we want to have white borders around this very video go to the left side still under the media let's click on stock materials then we're going to use white background i have it on my favorites but you can click on this drop down menu and you're going to find it somewhere background then drag and drop in the timeline we're going to place it below the instagram video let me just drag it on top of it now we need to stretch it and make it a bit long but this is a video so we can stretch the ending and we're going to use this trick go to the right side click on speed and then we can use this side and stretch it so it's like we are reducing the speed of it or we are slowing it down and at the same time it's going to lengthen our white background let me just trim this video to the exact same place now click on the white background go to the right side and click on mask then click on rectangle then let's just shape it around this very video so i'm gonna go for something like this now we need to make a compound clip of this and do some animation to it so just select all option g to create a compound clip of that i think it looks a bit big so let's just go for somewhere 90 percent now let's work on the animation of this instagram video we want it to come in when the video is moving to that very side this is where it starts going in let's just drag it to somewhere here with this we're just going to be playing around it so select the Instagram video, go to the right side, click on animation. We're going to use slide left on this, click on that. We're going to increase the duration of it a bit. Let me bring this down a bit. Let's go to somewhere 1.5 seconds. And we don't want it to come from all the way this side. We want it to look like it's coming from this side of the screen. And with this, we're going to play this trick with the opacity. Let's just match it with when it's moving to that very side. I'm going to drag it a bit to this side and see how it looks like. I think we can still go more on this side. So when it moves, then this starts coming in. Now let's play with the opacity. Click on the Instagram video. Go to the right side. Scroll down. On blend mode, click on the drop down menu. Let's make a first keyframe just at the middle of the animation when you look at here there is the animation line let's make a keyframe on opacity then let's take it to the very ending of that animation and make another keyframe on opacity 
now use this arrow to go to the previous keyframe on opacity let's take it down to zero and let's play and see how it looks like now it matches exactly how we want it so you can just be playing around it to make it more smooth now we're going to bring in some grid lines on this very side of the screen and with that go to import let's click on device and i'm going to provide you guys with this one link will be down there below i'm just going to drag and drop in the timeline let me drag it below the instagram video and let's make it long for now and the square looks too big so i'm going to play this trick first of all let me just disable the instagram video click on that and press v to disable it then with the horizontal grid line let's make a duplicate of it let me bring it down and use the on-screen controls we're going to move it to something like this we want to create more squares out of this and we're just going to use the middle side i'm going to show you guys very soon now let's just make a compound clip of the two select the two option g to make a compound clip of it and now we can just increase it a bit so we can hide the edges it doesn't look clean with the edges so with this one we're going to select an image of it in case we would need to create a compound clip of that so just right click select freeze let's delete this one so we don't need it bring this here and stretch it a bit now with that one selected let's go to the right side on opacity let's take it to somewhere four percent we don't want it to be too much on the screen and with the grid line we want it to fade in when it's moving to that very side without showing on my face so we're just going to move it to this very side let's just drag it and then we're going to create animation with it go to the right side click on animation make sure you are under in and then click on fade in let's increase the duration to somewhere seven seconds and see how it comes in now click on the instagram video press v to enable it now with this video when it comes in we want to play the trick that we always do it on this very channel make sure you select the instagram video go to the left side click on effect then scroll down i have it under my favorite but you're going to see it somewhere down here play pendulum just drag and drop on the instagram video with a twist take it to zero strength let's go down a bit to somewhere nine with the speed i'm gonna go to somewhere 25 and see how it looks like hey guys so on my left is an alley of dark now we're gonna bring a text down below this video so with that go to the left side click on text drag default text in the timeline let's take it to somewhere here in the timeline so when this instagram video is coming on this side we want the text also to be coming below or down from this side click on the text go to the right side let's delete that and write what we were saying in the video with the phone style i'm gonna go for her vertical that was what i was using in the video i think so if i remember correctly then i'm just gonna drag it down to this side i think with the instagram video i can go to somewhere 85 now let's work on the text now with the text we can add some shadow to it so go to the right side and click on shadow now let's animate that very simple with CapCut. go to the right side click on animation make sure you are under in then scroll down and select slide up let's increase it to somewhere it's perfect let's stretch it a bit so over here i was saying that that i created in cup cut so that we want it to move immediately when i said that we want this and this test to move a bit to this side on the screen so i'm going to start with the instagram video and listen to it carefully so just on this side click on the instagram video and let's drop a keyframe on transform then go 10 frames forward make another keyframe on transform or you can just drag it to the this side and it's going to create a keyframe on the position but this time around we just want to lock everything so it will make our life easy so i'm just going to drag it to this side 
now we're going to do the same thing with the text for some reason when we do the animation with the text the animation feels a bit weird it doesn't move the same with the video format so we're going to convert this and make it look like a video format by just clicking on that and making a compound clip of it option g to make a compound clip of it then when we click on the instagram video we're going to copy this keyframe animation just click on that command and select this second one then command c to copy take your playhead to the first keyframe of that one that we copied then click on the text command v and it's going to paste exactly the same animation on that and for some reason they keep taking it back and forth it was away for a while and now it's back you can copy your keyframes and paste and i'm using version 3.7 so when you look at the keyframes we copied it copied the scale size of it so we need to work on that so when the first one on the first keyframe make sure you've selected the text let's take it to 100 and then when you go to the next keyframe make sure you take it back to 100 percent so it will stay at the same position now when you look at it it's going to move exactly with it it would have been easier to just make a compound clip of these two and add the animations but with CapCut, we cannot create another compound clip on these very ones so that's why we're using this trick now when it moves to this side we're going to introduce a text on this side that's going to act like it's pushing this to this very side with that go to the left side select default text drag and drop in the timeline let's make it a bit long for now let's use the on-screen controls and move it to this side now i'm gonna change the text to what i was saying in the video the font i was using monstrad just select that with the size i'm gonna go a bit down to somewhere eight then on this side the one i did in final cut i was not using any glow but here let's be creative and add glow to it so i'm just going to scroll down and add some glow to the test now let me take the intensity down a bit on that one now let's do some animation to that with that one selected go to the right side click on animation and with this the one i did in final cut i was just using this simple slide from this side but let's be creative with this tutorial so i'm going to use zoom in just select that and let's increase it to somewhere 0.8 now let's match it with this this very movement that we have on this side so we're just going to use our keza and scroll through when it's moving then we can drag the test to that very side so with this just be matching with it so it's going to act like it's pushing it to that very side yeah now now it, so this side i was saying it took me almost two hours so i'm going to bring some tests showing two hours on this side let's make a duplicate of this so we make our life easy then let's just drag it to that side go to the right side let's delete this and type in plus two hours let's drag it down with the font we're going to use the same font and let's just make it small now with the animation let's change that so with that go to the right side click on animation and we're going to use normal slide up and let's play and see how it looks like we can bring it a bit here and increase the duration a bit on this side i was saying on my, right. on my right so i want everything to move to my right side so we're going to start with the video down in the timeline let's take our player to this side so it was exactly here that i was saying and on my right start with the video make a keyframe on transform to lock everything there so there will not be any changes on that side now let's take it to somewhere here and make another keyframe on transform to lock everything then i can just drag my video to this very side and i can increase the size of it a bit so i can get more room on that side we're going to work on this very video so we're going to clean everything up but now let's just work on the video itself let's do something with the curves click on the video option k to bring the keyframe animation out so just like we did earlier on i'm going to change everything to ease in two so just like that right click graphs select ease in two and i'm going to be fast with the rest of them 
so now we're done with the animations let's close that option k to close that and now let's start cleaning all these ones out so when it's moving we want everything on this side to look like it's moving to this side before fading out on this side of the screen with that let's start with the grid line let's take our playhead to somewhere here when it starts moving let me just drag this to that very side and then with that selected go to the right side click on animation click on out and select fade out let me increase the duration a bit and see i think i can stretch it a bit to this side now let's start working with the instagram videos and these captions too so with this let's stretch it to somewhere here for now and start working with it with the instagram video selected go to animation we're gonna use slide right and let's increase it to somewhere 1.5 seconds for now so we can see it was moving before the camera so with this i think we can stretch it a bit on this side and see how it looks like good now exactly how we want it so now we're going to fade it out before it gets to this side on the screen take your playhead to the starting of the animation when you look at here it starts on this side make sure you select the instagram video then go to the right side click on video scroll down opacity make a keyframe there then let's go to somewhere here on the screen and let's take it to zero now when you look at it when it's moving it will also go and fade out and that adds some cool unique to it now we're going to do the same thing with all the text just drag this to this side make it the same length as this one so we can match the same animation with the text selected this is the ali abdal test go to the right side click on animation then select slide right just like we did with the instagram video let's increase that to 1.5 seconds to match exactly the same animation and then we're going to copy this opacity keyframe onto this very text so let me just take my player to this side let's select this press command click on this make sure you don't move the keyframe so command z to go back we want it to stay exactly where it is then command c then with your playhead on the first one click on this text compound clip then command v and it's going to paste the opacity animation on that one too now let's work with these two texts at the top with that let's make it the same length and then let's make a compound clip of it select all option g to make a compound clip make it the same length as this ones then go to the right click on animation select slide right and make it 1.5 seconds then we're going to paste the same opacity and make keyframes on this so let's take our playhead to the first one then click on this top one and because we've already copied the keyframes it's still activated so we can just press command v and you're gonna paste on that side so now we have something like this all right guys so on my left is an ali of doubt caption style that i created in top cards and it took me almost two hours to create that and on my right so now we are on the right side and we're gonna do the same trick on that side let's start with the grid line click on that press option and drag to this side so we can make a duplicate of that and now let's use our case scroll through and see exactly where we want the grid lines to start coming in so something like this looks pretty cool right perfect now let's bring the instagram video on that side too click on this press option and drag to this side we're going to repeat most of the animations and keyframe on this so just like that when it goes here we want the instagram video to start coming in from this side so i'm just going to place it here and then with that video selected go to the right side click on animation then click on in then this time around we're going to select slide right so it will come from this side of the screen now let's just place it nicely so it will come when it, this is moving to that side so i think i can move it a bit to this side so now we're going to bring in 
the text Ali Abdal text down here and just like that click on this option and drag to this side to make a duplicate and then when you look at it it's going to have the same animation we're going to do the same thing as we did earlier on all of them are going to move to this side to create a space for the text we're going to write on this side so now we're just going to listen to the video when i was saying that i use an ai to so just like that on this side in the waves you can see on the waves that's where i said i use ai so i'm gonna do the movement on that very side let's start with the instagram video click on that this is the animation of that movement so we're just gonna drag it to that side then go 10 frames forward and drag this to that side let's make sure it's 10 frames intervals now when you look at it let's match the same with ali abdal test it doesn't match correctly so let's just match it take our playhead to the first one we can press m to drop a marker on this side it's going to guide us then let's click on test ali abdal test and now we can just drag it to match where the marker is so now we've got it nicely we can go 10 frames and drag this to that very side now we're going to bring in a test on this side we're going to use this one exactly the same just press option and drag and make a duplicate of that and this time around we're going to change the test so we need to break down this compound clip select the compound clip press option shift and g and it's going to undo that compound clip now let's start with the top this very one let's just drag this to somewhere here and let's change the test of this go to the right side delete that and then let's write what i was saying in the video and now we're going to match it with the same animation on this side so i'm just going to drag it to somewhere here and play and see how it looks now like now we're going to bring in this two hours so we're going to bring it somewhere here and this time around i was saying 10 seconds so i'm going to change that to let me just delete this and type in 10 seconds and play and see how it looks like so i can bring this somewhere here so now this side i was saying yep yep so we're going to bring everything to normal position and this is how we're going to do it we're going to take the playhead to when i start to say yep and i want to see my lips saying yep so i'm just going to take it to somewhere here and start working with the video so click on the video make a keyframe on transform to lock everything there then let's go to somewhere here in the middle where i was saying yep i'm looking at the wave form then i can drop another keyframe on transform and on that side i'm just going to change these figures to zero this to zero and then this to 100 percent so everything's going to come back to the normal position now let's work on the curves too just option k and i'm going to be fast on this side so now i'm done with that option k to close that now let's clean up all these ones to go on this direction let's start with the grid line let's take our playhead to where it starts going let me take the playhead to that side make sure i've selected a video then press m to drop a marker so i'll use that now let me just start with a grid line and move it a bit closer to that marker and with this it's going to cancel this ending animation we have but we can put it back just make sure you select that go to the right side click on animation click on out and select fade out then you can watch and see if it matches exactly with that perfect now let's work with the instagram video click on the instagram video first of all let's just move the animation of the opacity to somewhere here we're gonna be working on this don't worry then let's trim the ending of it it's gonna cancel the animation at the end we'll put it back to somewhere here then with that instagram video selected go to the right side and then we're gonna select slide left so it will go on that direction of the screen and we are not seeing it now because we have this opacity keyframes on this side we're gonna work on that but for now let's just work on the animation make sure the ending animation will take it to somewhere 1.5 seconds and then when you look at it 
these keyframes for opacity when it's going it's going to fade out and then the camera is also going to move on that direction now let's do the same thing with this test ali abdal test make sure these keyframes let's let me make this easy for you guys let's take it here so we can see exactly where it is press m to drop a marker on this side then we're going to use it to guide ourselves and it was 10 frames intervals so i'm going to take it there go 10 frames drag this to that side i need to be very sure it's the same animation i got it wrong let me just drop a marker on this second one too so it will be easy for my life m to drop a marker on that side then click on this and drag it to exactly that marker now let's just trim the ending of it and also make sure you selected that go to the right side and let's increase the animation fade out animation to 1.5 seconds so it will match exactly with the down one and when you look at it we need to change the animation of that test the ali abdal test let me take it here and show you guys we need to select slide left so it will go on this side on the screen click on that now it goes perfect let's do the same with this select all option g to create a compound clip trim the ending make it the same length as these two with that one selected click on animation we're going to select slide left click on that mm -hmm. increase it to 1.5 seconds then let's copy these keyframes click on that command click on this then command c to copy that still with the playhead on the first keyframe click on the top compound clip command v to paste that keyframes on that and now when you look at it which took me 10 seconds so now on this side when i was saying in just 10 seconds i want to zoom into my face so i'll add more energy to what i was saying in the video drop your playhead on that side and with this zoom in we're going to use the same thing we did from the beginning so we're going to copy the keyframes from that to make our life easy go to that side click on the animation and then click on this one then command c then let's go to where i was saying in just click on the video command v and it's going to paste the same animation on there in just 10 seconds. now we want it to be very short and fast so we're going to move it a little bit closer to the first one Help me write in just 10 seconds. so on this side when i said in just i'm going to bring some text on the screen go to the left side select default text drag and drop in the timeline let's change the text of it and i was using monster for that one I was using yellow color so i'm just going to select yellow then scroll down and add some glow to it in the original video there was no glow but this i'm just going to add glow for the fun of it and then i'm just going to make it really big and place it down here now we're going to add some animation to that click on animation and we're going to use bounce in just click on that and let's increase the duration to match the same movement with the video Just so i think 0.9 seconds looks pretty cool now i'm going to transition to what i was saying in the video and as i said i've already done the cut of this original video and this was a new angle so we want to transition to that very video and we're going to use the overlay transition so go to the left side click on import on the media side and i'm going to provide you guys with this one too link will be there down there below just drag and drop in the timeline we could have easily selected the best part on this side so now i just want only six frames of this so i'm just going to take my playhead here trim the ending and then go six frames forward and make a cut on this side and delete this side and now with this i want three frames to be on the test and three to be on the incoming clip so i'm just gonna zoom it yeah it looks cool on this side then with that selected go to the right side blend mode let's change it to screen or you can be playing around the blend mode to give you the look that you're going for and now when i play and show you guys in just 10 seconds so now let me play and show you guys what we're able to achieve for today 
right, guys. So on my left is an Ali Abdal caption style that I created in CapCut, and it took me almost two hours to create that. And on my right is the same caption style that I use an AI tool, which took me 10 seconds. Yep, you heard me right, in just 10 seconds. From here, you can add some sound effects and also color grade your footage. Thanks once again to the people from Wondershare for sponsoring this video. All right, guys, if you want to know how to edit like pro YouTubers, you can check on this playlist. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.